However you tile, there's going to be times when the edges of your tiles are going to be exposed, either because you're coming up to a certain level, or you're coming out from the shower and stopping at a certain point, or maybe even in a window reveal. And the problem with that is that tile edges are very plain and not nearly as decorative as the front face of tiles. So if you want a really professional finish, you need to consider using tile trim. This one here that I've got finishes the tile really nicely. And this is an aluminium one that's got like a brush stainless steel finish on it. But there's lots of different shapes and sizes. There's plastic ones, they also come in different colors and different shapes and cross sections. And importantly, they come in different sizes. This is an eight millimeter trim that fits my fairly thin Metro tile quite nicely, but you can get 10 and 12 and a half millimeter thick trims depending on the tile that you're using. Not forgetting about the adhesive on the back, depending on the size of the notch trowel that you're using. So for me, eight millimeters is just nice on this tile, including maybe a couple of millimeters of adhesive on the back. Right, how do you fit these? Well, I think there's two different ways of fitting trim. You either fit it first and then tile into it, where this can get stuck to the wall and literally you're cutting your tiles to fit into the trim. Or if you're using it on a horizontal surface, you may want to fit your tiles and then the last thing you do is fit your trim to it. So in this video, I'm gonna show you both ways of installation, including how to cut trim to give you that really professional finish. On this wall, I have just one last course to place before I finish with a trim piece. So I draw a line where that will be, which allows me to measure the length of the trim that I need. And this is gonna meet another piece in the corner. So I'm using a mitre block and a hacksaw to cut a 45 degree mitre on one end. I find that it's best to hold the trim tight to the mitre block and take it slow with the saw so you get a really fine cut which will look better. Once cut all the way through you can then use a file to take off any burrs and make sure that the part that you see is clean and smooth. With my two pieces cut, before I permanently fix them, I check them for fit in the corner, which I'm happy with. I can then spread my adhesive, keeping a few millimetres shy of the top line of my tiles and trim, which will not only save me clearing up excess adhesive later, but also means I can still see the line where the trim is going to go. I then push the trim into position into the adhesive, but leave it just a few millimetres high at this stage. With this in place, I can now tile the last course as normal. Once all the tiles are in place, I can press down on the trim to fit it snugly against the top of the tiles, making especially sure that the mitred corner is sitting right and looking correct. So the second piece of trim I'm going to be putting in today is along this line. And this is my sort of shower enclosure area above the bath. I'm going to have a shower head here, but I don't want the tiles just to run on forever. So I want them to stop somewhere. And using a square edge piece of trim like this is a convenient and smart way of stopping them. And on this way, I'm going to be putting this trim in first and then tile into it. So I'll glue it in, in position along this line with tile adhesive. I'll make sure the adhesive is kept low so that the tiles don't conflict with it in the future. And then I'll tile starting on this line and doing any cuts I need on the right hand side. That way it means whether I tile this today or tomorrow doesn't make any difference. I measure and cut the trim to length as before, although this time it's a square cut that I need. And you'll notice I'm holding the trim, so I'm cutting the face first, which I find gives a better finish. I can now place the adhesive, and once again, I'm staying a few millimeters away from the line. I 
I can then place the trim into position and push it back into the wall so it sticks firmly in the adhesive. With this in place I can tile as usual starting each course against the trim to make sure that the tiles are tight up against it. So now I've started, I'm on a bit of a roll, so I might as well continue. But as I said, now that's set in place, I could come back to it tomorrow and finish off no problem. I hope this has given you some ideas on tile trims, and I will see you in the next video.